Hey guys, so it's been a minute since I make a beat making video, but um, that's what I have for you today. So let's jump right into it. So I downloaded the this free sample pack that Chris Poncelon and Eldre made. I'm actually gonna unzip it right now. Just start, buddy. Three, two. One. All right, let's open this up and let's see. Let's listen to some of these loops. So I'm gonna use So I used the flowers sample and I converted it to 117 BPM and then I chopped the regions up and I put it into a sampler and then I came up with these chops. Then I pitch shifted the sample four semitones down. I recorded a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. And then I recorded a bass line. And you'll be able to hear a little bit of that in this clip that I was able to salvage. 
and then I recorded some keys. And some pads. So I just added all the percussion elements and I mixed everything. Um, I might add a little bit of filtering here and there. I haven't done that yet. Um, like automation filtering. But um, basically, <laughs> I can't do it basically. Let me do a rundown. So the main sample, um, I sampled out the lows um i mean i filter out the lows i added some distortion um to the high end just so it sticks out a little bit and i spread it a little bit and added some reverb um the electric piano directional mixer to spread it um eq out the lows and some of the highs and add reverb for the piano solo, I didn't do much, just a little bit of distortion and EQ out the lows and some reverb. For the future bass pad, I actually lowered it an octave. I don't know if I'm gonna regret that or not, but um, filtered out a lot of the lows. I mean, filtered out the lows and some of the mids um, and a little bit of the highs added a tremolo so it goes left and right um every quarter note directional mixer to spread it echo just to add some flavor and that right okay um and some reverb for the synth bass, just the EQ that comes with it, and actually this is the sub bass. Okay, so this is the sub bass, and it comes with this EQ on it. I just left it for now, and I added this sub bass enhancer plugin. It's a stock plugin. Okay, this. Okay. For the actual bass. We have the stock EQ. This is all stock. I didn't do anything to it. Um, the kick, I just filtered out some of the lows so it doesn't clash with the bass. Let's hear that. So for the snare, we filtered out the lows and some highs. We added a sample delay just to give it some, some color, some spread. Um, that's another way to get, to get that. Um, didn't I say EQ already? Okay. And some distortion, very high at a very high frequency and some reverb. The clap um, EQ'd out the lows and the mids and Okay, and some reverb. For the hi-hat, we EQ'd out basically everything except for where the hi-hat is. And I cut out a little bit of the highs just to um, bring down the tone a little bit. It was a bit too bright. Some flanger, 9%, not much. Um, directional mixer, put it a little bit to the left. And some echo, just to give it more um, width as well. 
So I added an open hi-hat and I also moved that a little bit to the left. Added the same flanger and I filtered out some of the lows and added some reverb. All right, then I have a crash. And I just added a directional mixer, pushed it a little bit to the right and I spread it and added some reverb. Then I have a triangle, which is very faint. You can barely hear it. But I pushed that a lot to the left and I spread it a little bit and just added some reverb. And on my risers, I didn't do much. I just added some spread. Maybe I'll add the same reverb just to blend it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a side chain to most of the melodic elements so that they don't crash with the kick and so the kick comes out more. So let's do that. all right so that's all i have for now um it's not bad i don't really know much about house i've just heard a couple songs i have like one playlist i've heard like 20 songs and then you know here and there on the radio or whatever but i like the genre and i wanted to try it out i don't know about it being lo-fi which i said at the beginning but eh, it's debatable yeah so lastly i'm going to apply a master chain that's actually provided by Baywood, which I did a video using his pack a while ago. And I actually use it all the time, like when I want to get a really quick um, master, you know, a vocal chain, I'll just use that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use Always Works, and I'll let you guys hear for yourself how it sounds. I hope you like the video. I definitely want to explore and, and do different things, so. Let me know if you'd like to see anything or if you have any suggestions and I'll see you in the next one.